Hello and welcome to library class. It's good to see you. Now today I'm going to ask for a little bit of help from my furry little assistant, Library Line, who is normally having a bit of a snooze on the sofa behind me. So uh, let me see, Library Line, are you there? Let's reach behind and help him up. He needs a bit of help first thing. So there we are, here he is, Library Lion himself. What's that? Library Iron? No, 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 no. I said Library Lion, not Library Iron. Oh, oh, no, you have a point. This does indeed appear to be an iron. Are you a library iron? Yes, I am. Mm, well, it looks to me like you could be one of Library Lion's little rhyming jokes. He loves rhyming jokes. Library Lion, are you there? There he is. Was this you? You are one crazy lion. I love it. Lion and iron. I tell you what, if you love rhymes, you're in for a treat because I have a story full of rhymes today. Do you want to hear it? This is called Oi Frog, uh, and it's by Kez Gray and Jim Field drew the pictures. So, Library Lion, do you want to take it easy, lie back in a cushion and enjoy a story full of rhymes? All right, let's do it. Take it easy. See you later. Bye. Okay. Right, here we are. Oi Frog by Kez Gray and Jim Field. Here's the title page. Oi Frog. Oi Frog! Sit on a log. Said the cat. Well, I, I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable, and they give you splitters in your bottom. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a log. Can't, can I sit on a mat? asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair? said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Perhaps I could uh, sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. Well, what about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats. Hares sit on chairs. Mules sit on stools. Gophers sit on sofas. And frogs sit on logs. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Oh, that's your bet. <laughs> Ouch, said the frog. Oh, what, do, what do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on? asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. Oh, no, what do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on ploughs and storks sit on forks. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars, rats sit on hats, weasels sit on easels, and moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels, doves sit on gloves, newts sit on flutes, lizards sit on wizards, and apes sit on grapes. What about puffins? said the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins, snakes sit on cakes, owls sit on towels, gibbons sit on ribbons, lambs sit on jams, bees sit on keys, and pumas on satsumas. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do dogs sit on? asked the frog. I was hoping you weren't going to ask me that, said the cat. Help! Poor frog, there are some questions you just shouldn't ask. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that story, but the fun does not stop there, because I also have an oi frog bingo game. Library Lion, are you still there? There we are. Would you like to play the oi frog bingo game? Because you get to do lots of rhyming, which you love. Do you guys like to rhyme? Hold on to your hats and you're in for a treat. Here we go. 
Okay, so here we have our Oi Frog bingo game. There's two boards here. There's a green board and a blue board. You get to choose which board you want to play with. In fact, you can decide right now if you would like. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, now the aim of this game is to be the first person to cover all the pictures on your board with buttons. And you can put a button on the picture when you hear the name of an animal that rhymes with that picture. Now, I know you can't really put a button on top of the picture, but just shout out the name of the picture that rhymes with the animal and I'll put the button on for you. For example, both boards have a picture of an iron. And you know that if I was to say lion, you could shout out iron and I'll put a button on the picture for you. Just like that. That's cool. Both the green board and the blue board had a picture of an iron. So they've both got to put a button on top. Okay, let's go ahead and clean the boards. And then we'll just look through the pictures on the boards really quickly to make sure everybody knows what they're called. And then we'll start. See if you can name the pictures with me. Chair, peas, wheel, muffin, coat, carrots, pole, iron, keys, sofa, mat, box, pillars. Okay, are you ready to play? You've picked your board. Don't forget, I'm going to say the name of an animal and you have to shout out the name of the picture on your board that rhymes with that animal. You may not always have a picture on your board. Right, let's see whether the green or the blues fill up all their pictures first. Get ready and go! Puffin rhymes with... Muffin. What about goats? Rhymes with coats. There we go, both boards get one. What about cat? This one might be easy to remember. It's Matt. There we go. What about hare? Looks like a rabbit, but he's a hare. Rhymes with chair. What about parrots? They rhyme with carrots. Fleas rhyme with peas, or you could have had keys that also rhymes with fleas. Oh look, there's bees, that definitely rhymes with keys. Lion, we know this one. Iron, green is doing well, seems to be in the lead. Let's keep going. Fox rhymes with box. Gorilla rhymes with Pillar, oh, blue's catching up. Seal, rhymes with wheel. Oh, green and blue got one. Gopher, rhymes with sofa. Oh my goodness, bingo, blue has won. Well done, blue, and well done, green, for playing so well. All right, how did you do in the game? Did you get them all? Nice work. All right, well, that is the end of library class for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, in the meantime, please take care, keep discovering, keep exploring, and uh, Library Line is here to say goodbye. I'll say goodbye too. See you next time. Bye-bye.